So far, I'm really happy with the progress that we've made and the times that we've completed these maps in. Now, today was supposed to be Scrapyard because we left off on 1-2 Tree, beating that one with a relatively fast time considering that we did have a loss in the middle of it. But then we got update 39, which changed a lot of things in the games. But one of the things I didn't expect to change was the map order for some reason. We were supposed to be doing Scrapyard today. That was the next one in line. But then in the loop popped up back here. And I thought it had something to do with the fact that Dark Path is now the newest map in this game. But why would it affect the beginner column? Because when I go here, it has no effect there. So why would it affect it? I don't know. But something has made in the loop left out here and that just looks weird to me so we have to do it but so far we're on level 72 with 836 dollars and when we go over our monkey money the thing that i think we need to get next is this increased starting cash by 200 for one thousand dollars now that's a lot of monkey money to be spending but i believe in a couple of beginners we should get there and then have an extra 200 bucks to make this thing go even faster but then that is where i kind of fall off and i need your guys's help to tell me what you think i should do next for monkey knowledge because based on the consensus of all these amazing comments you guys are leaving the next hero you guys want to see is geraldo but then a lot of you have said that we should do the monkey knowledge first because it will be more helpful and i do agree with that because i feel like we should go with this path next for things like this first banana farm costs 100 less which is great for investing in bananas and then i really like that marketplaces now produce one life per round because the more lives the merrier in case something happens or i zone out and we lose like i've done in the past but then i saw this little guy over here all ability cooldowns for monkeys reduced by three percent which is pretty amazing but then there's military, and this one is one of the most important ones in this game, I feel like. Purchase price of first military monkey each game is two-thirds the normal price. I use that so much on my main account, like it's ridiculous, because the sniper is super cheap with this, or even a boat, or a plane, or a helicopter. And then you got this guy too, but then my dilemma was, was that I think this is more important for me anyway, but then it doesn't help us get to this bottom one. So we spend a thousand monkey money, but then we got to spend a thousand monkey money again, which means we're not going to get these until 10 years from now. So let me know below what path you think we should take with this monkey knowledge. I think what I'm going to do is just go for support in this episode. And then you guys kind of tell me to go from there because I think we can just get most of these without spending the monkey money. Like just go like this, right? Yeah. Oh, but I gotta leave one. I gotta leave one because we have to get this one. Oh my goodness. Not this one. We have to get this one. That would have been bad. So we do need $1,000 and we'll get that right now. Very long intro is over. I just need some help on deciding which monkey knowledge to go for because I feel like I'm missing some and that we could use some that might be make it way faster for us to complete these maps in. Now we do have our girl Sada and we did unlock Ben, but I didn't end up using Ben because I completely forgot about him. Now I don't want to use him for beginner because I don't think he's going to be that necessary, but I cannot forget. I cannot forget to use him on medium like Apocalypse and on hard with even standard and impoppable to try to get that money faster because I think having money faster is better than Sada just kind of wrecking everything. That's my opinion. Let me know below what you guys think about that. But here is easy mode. I got to remember these hotkeys I always forget because it's been a little bit of a, a break because I was waiting for that new update to come out because I want to see what nerfs that would do to all these towers. I didn't want to make these hour and a half long strategies that you guys can't use because something's been nerfed to crazy town. But one that I will talk about in a little bit. The Druid has been buffed and it is such a cool buff. I can't wait to talk about it. But first thing we're going to do is we are going to hit play, right? Okay, we can do this. Play and then F9. Play F9. Okay, there we go. And then Sada here. Yeah, let's just do Sada here. We got to make this go somewhat faster. Now this map, I forgot we have the free dart monkey. That is so awesome. You have no idea. But this map is a little scary because you'd like to place everything at the very front. Like I'm talking up here. But the problem is like on poppable and apocalypse things like that when it when you miss up here you have to wait 25 minutes for it to go around this entire map and you might as well just go get a drink go to the restroom and just take a break because it's gonna take forever to get around there and we're just gonna lose out on this time but in the loop is one of my favorite maps i really like it because it's very satisfying having like a sub here and having all the subs missiles go this way so i think we might do a strategy like that i think it looks really nice and clean when it just goes because you know how it just all trails when you have a bunch of these guys in the same pool. And then I like the fall colors of it. But we're going to go with something a little bit weird here. We're going to be using a mortar up front because I do need to unlock it. I don't I don't want to click on it because this time I don't want to have any problems with our time based on me just being dumb and over clicking towers that I don't need to click, things like that. But I would like to have a more buffed up mortar shooter because like it would be a great tower for this. Oh, then I do it. I do the first thing I say I don't want to do. I do it. Oh my goodness. But I think it would be great to like place him right here, you know, 
And then if I need to, I can micro it because on the computer, you just hit tab and you can just put this thing wherever. And as long as you don't click off it, you can do this all day long, which is pretty cool. You might be faster than what he actually shoots. So he might not hit everywhere you're trying to get. But for the most part, I think it's pretty awesome. And Bluntonium Reactor is awesome. And if you had a Bluntonium Reactor just hitting like in this area right here, nothing is getting past us. But by that point, that's such a far distance. Do we want it to go that far? That's that's the problem here. We need towers that are just going to shoot down here. So let's think about that, actually. I think it'll be great to have bottom path balloon traps for this for our money like obviously it's a great place to farm on this map so we might as well just use like regular farms and just shove them all here so i have to like farm is crazy but i think balloon trap will be a great tower but this isn't oh duh, 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 this one right here duh this is a great tower we should actually go with this and i had some people in the comments asking me to use the bottom path the bez and i think we might actually do that but again i'm not gonna click it right away that would be stupid so we're gonna wait a little bit but the bez could like the bluntonium no what the heck is that even called okay i'm gonna sacrifice for you guys because i gotta know what it's called now okay that one that one that one that one balloon area denial system and balloon exclusion zone bez okay makes me think of like a pez if you a lot of you guys probably don't even know what those are but pez dispensers were these little candies they're like little stick figures, but it's just the head and then you can get whatever you want. Like I have a Superman one, a Bugs Bunny one, even know what a Bugs Bunny is, probably not. But I have like all these little characters. I think they're probably in the trash by now, but that's just all. What the heck? Why did I go with the bottom path? Oh, because I wanted to upgrade it. I mean, whatever, right? It doesn't really matter at this point. It's beginner mode. And in this most recent update, we have actually gotten a decrease in the hydro rocket pods, which is our lead popper. But I think, uh, oh, this guy's popping lead, so it really doesn't matter. And we can get the big one. We'll get that one later. Actually, let's just get it now. I, God, I'm so bad at this. Oh my goodness. Like I said, that's only milliseconds that we're wasting, like a second top. So I really don't think it's like the worst thing in the world to be doing that. But I'd prefer not to, I guess, is the better way of saying that. But then again, I do think that those little time wastes do add up because we did lose on one, two, tree, which was the last one. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out because that one was really fun with all of the little, what do you call those bonuses on that map? How you get range increases and cost decreases based on where you place your towers. I think that's really awesome part of that map. But long story short, even though it had like a longer start, kind of like this one, we had to play Sada like at the distance equivalency of like back here, you know? But even with that and losing, we still managed to get second place. So is that just because we're becoming more efficient black border players? Or is it the fact that we're not having to upgrade as much? That's what I'm kind of thinking here. Because those little upgrade screens do to waste some time. But if any of you guys can help me out too, I'm not an Excel expert. I tried Googling it, but I didn't know how to word exactly what I wanted. Oh, cool, already done with that one. That was pretty quick. And then luckily we are on this one, so we can just click right here real quick. And I shouldn't mess it up this whole time. Shouldn't with a big S, I guess is how you say that. But uh, I need some help with Excel because as you saw, the, all those times were out of order. Now it's easy for me just to like highlight all the numbers and then click sort and fill or whatever, and then it's gonna make them all the right order. But the problem I'm having is that I don't want it to be just the numbers, I want the names to go with it. So how do you make the names and the numbers all automatically go in order of the time? It doesn't make any sense to me. Now I really didn't wanna to talk too much about updates and newer things in the game with this series because I imagine a lot of you will go back and watch these months later because I still get comments on my old, old, old strategies, my old chimp strategies. So I didn't wanna to be too relevant in that time to throw anybody off if they're like, what, the update just came out for you like 10 years ago? Because <laughs> most of these strategies will still always work, but you can't not talk about the madness of this latest update with the map editor. The map editor is the biggest thing in this game we've ever seen. That's like no exaggeration. It's just insanely huge. And I can't believe that we get to do that now. And then like the Paragon, the Dart Monkey Paragon got cut more than half. So now all of us Brokies can actually play the boss mode and win on Elite probably with that much of a discount. We're talking a huge discount. That's insane. And then my favorite one is what happened to the, it's not my favorite, you can't say that, but the Druid. I love the Druid and I can't wait to use him to show you what he does if you're not aware yet, which is so cool. I'm kind of worried that the Kylie Boomerang isn't as good as I thought. Like it, it looks like it's working pretty well, but maybe I should have gone with the middle path because it just seems to like, it gets its one shot to hit, but if the balloons are any bigger and it can't damage them all, like if it wasn't for the, the critical hits of the sharpshooter, this thing would just be garbage because it was garbage a second ago, but I just need something to like quickly pop leads and stuff. So, I mean, you can't beat this tower. I don't think there is a better tower, a better fourth tier than this one right here. The recursive cluster, like 
It's so versatile. Now it's not the best for popping Moabs, but it can still get the job done on these beginner maps. Probably not this beginner map, especially how I placed it. If this thing doesn't pop it open, we're totally done for. But with all of these plus Sada, we're fine with just this right here, which is, shows you how crazy the recursive cluster is. Because like I was playing half cash on workshop. So I'm starting to like on the side on my main account, I'm trying to like dabble in those more expert maps that I've never even <laughs> attempted before. And I was on half cash and it was giving me a lot of struggles. But then when I just got the recursive cluster, it made it so much easier. Now I granted, I still lost and I'm not gonna continue. I'm not, I'm gonna try to save up a hundred grand of monkey money again, because before I started modding on my main account, and before I started uh, attempting boss events, actually, yeah, boss events, let's be real. I was really, really, is it rich? Is 100,000 monkey money rich? Not really when like Supreme Avocado has over a million or something, but I had over 100,000 monkey money. And then I started modding and didn't realize like I should have used a second account. And so I blew all of my money on losing all of the time. And then boss events come around and I lose even more monkey money. Cause I'm like, I'm not going to quit on round 100. Let's redo it 17 times. Next thing I know, I just lost 5k and still didn't win. Rage quit. Don't play it. Don't beat it. And then I'm mad. So <laughs> there's that. But I don't even remember where I was going with that. Something about monkey. Oh, I've been, I've been practicing. I've been practicing like workshop and seeing if I'm even going to be able to beat it on impossible and stuff, which is why I plan to do a live stream a lot, which I just live streamed this full update. Actually, if you guys want to check it out, go do so. It should be under the live section or past playlist. Let's, let's not talk here for a second because, <laughs> okay. So for this one, we're going to play Sada and we're going to do a bomb. Okay. Bomb, 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 bomb. And then we're going to do, oh, this is so slow. Okay, let's just do this for now. Let's just do this for now. And then um, what else should we do? What else should we do? And then this one right here. I know a lot of people keep telling me to do these and I just keep not doing them. And I feel really bad because this is a great strategy. It's just because that I'm like not thinking about it right away. And I think that's the problem. So don't be offended if I don't use your strategies you guys suggest. I'm in the midst of it. And someone, I think they said go with this one because this one's great for taking down mobs and stuff. And then this one's great for cleanup, but I probably should have not gotten the bomb and just gotten the full auto rifle, right? Oh, if I would have used a double discount village, that's what I should have done. Cause then I could have sold them and I could have done it that way and made some more money, but too late to go back now. So I think for just like, uh, our camo is kind of weak and we don't have camo lead, huh? We actually don't have camo lead. That's really weird. And I don't think I have enough for this. Can we get a shimmer? Would that be enough? Let's try it. Well, I guess we don't need shimmer. We could just go with uh, the fireball and it's been cheapened too. All right, let's do this. That's that's better actually. And then we can put this guy here cause it's free anyway. And we'll go like this one and then boom, boom. Okay, perfect. That's actually not bad. I think this will work. I mean, worst case scenario, they make it past our little team here, but we do have snipers. So we're not going to lose by any chance, but it just might take a little bit longer. But I live streamed the whole new update and it was a lot of fun. A lot of people were there. So if you guys want to check that out, do so. I think you just click like live or pass live stream, something like that. <laughs> but I plan to live stream a lot of this once we get to those more advanced and expert maps. I've been getting a lot of people asking about it and that is 100% the plan because like I can't even beat half cash on workshop. I think I tried three times before I had to leave to go do something else. And so I'm telling myself, I'm like, how am I gonna do this for a video? Like really, what is the plan here? Oh cool, we got level 73, another monkey melange point. But what is the plan here? Because if I lose three, four, five, six times and I don't have an actual plan that could work, we could be at like seven, eight, nine, ten plus hours for a black border on one of those expert maps. So what I'm thinking, and you guys gotta let me know if this is a good plan, because this is my idea, but I don't want it to be like cheating. But it's not cheating, because I've done in the loop so many times. Like, does that consider cheating? Because I'm not like a new player. So what I was thinking is we jump into a live stream, you guys all help me out and get past it and we come up with some really cool strategies. And that doesn't mean that it's just gonna be super simple, easy to beat chimps. So it's still gonna be a struggle and a battle, but we have to at least have like a good baseline blueprint to go into it before I start the video. So we go on live stream, we make sure we have strategies that can actually beat chimps on like challenge editor and things like that. And then I go back and make the video and see how fast we can do it. Cause I think one or two losses is pretty normal if you're doing like an expert chimps, but if I'm losing like 18 times, it's just like a pulling my hair out you know, that's just not going to make for fun. That's for sure. See, these Moabs have a super huge delay. Like they come out way too far into the map. So that's why I'm thinking that monkey knowledge at the very, very bottom of the military tree is really, really good because it already cuts down some of their HP. I'm not sure exactly how much, but it's going to make it faster, especially for like double HP Moabs, because that just feels like they're unstoppable. 
So imagine how much faster we'll go if we can chop these up a little bit faster. So that's why I'm thinking that one. But again, you're talking what, like three or four K monkey money for that? Like that's not even realistic here. Okay, what are you doing there, Sada? Oh, let's pop all that stuff open. Now we have one BFB. Can we take it down? I'm pretty sure we can right before it even gets past us. See, that's what I don't like. That was gross, but it worked. It wasn't too much slower. Do we have a thousand yet? We do. So let's do this real quick again, real quick. Primary, okay, this one. Yes, that's actually gonna be so much. I think just clicking that's gonna make it, even though it seemed slower, it's gonna be faster now that we have extra 200 bucks to start with. That's crazy. So we'll put Sada here again and just go for it. Place our free dart monkey here and go for it. Put him on last. Oh, we're just on medium. I thought we were on military only because that's one I was kind of dreading because I think our plan for that one because it's just so weird because the military monkeys have no footprint, I think, except for like the mortar. So for instance, I'm trying to get the sub to shoot all the way down here. So I'm gonna have to like place two mortars down to actually get like a good distance down here. Just a little weird thing, but it'll, it'll be fine. But I don't mind it. I think we're gonna go with like a more mortar heavy strategy on this one. I think that'd be kind of fun. Just because they take care of leads, they can take care of camos if we go with that bottom path. And eh, they're pretty fast, like they're pretty good. But now I got my head thinking about like chimps and stuff. And I think a sub commander strategy, sub commander strategy, <laughs> sub sub commander strategy or something, whatever I was trying to say, would be very solid and it would be satisfying to look at. But there would also be a time delay from like like the beginning of each round, it's gonna like kind of take a time for it to get there. I wish there was an option to move rounds through kind of like Apocalypse to where the balloons never stopped. There wasn't no end of the round. It just kept rolling through like literally frame right after, which would be pretty cool. It might do that, but it's not like as instant as I'm thinking in my head. I think it'd be kind of cool. Now I'm still not sold on this guy. I still feel like if I go with the pin one, to get to the, yeah, you don't want this one. That's a bad idea, that's a bad idea. I was thinking if I go with the pin one, it slows everything down, but I do want the balloon trap because you can make a really fast strategy. Just put balloon traps up the front and then nothing even gets past there. It's like impossible. But I'm gonna go with one farm here. We're gonna just greet a little bit because we're not getting too far out of hand here. They're staying past this line. As long as everything stays in front of this line, I feel like we're doing some pretty good progress. I'm just gonna leave it. So I'm just gonna get one farm because, uh, one farm is better than no farms. And right when I'm feeling good about myself, I get I lose one right there. So, okay, so we're not gonna go for the farm right away. I think what we're going to go for is, oof, this is tough. Well, let's just get shell shock, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab another one of these guys. I can't, keep forgetting to farm. That's why I don't like farming. It's actually stressful if you're bad, cause then it just takes forever. But if I go like this one, now we get camo revealed and everything's doing pretty good. But 8,000 for the big ones, pretty crazy to be honest. Well, we might as well get his buddy and go with this one. And now we do more damage to Fortified, which is nice. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? No, I don't want Arterly, Arterly, I can't even say the word. Arterly Battery, that one's dumb. All right, so we're gonna go with Balloon Buster, but I needed my money up from my farm. That's kind of a bummer, but this is a pretty solid strategy so far. Like nothing's getting past us, which is great. Now, well, we don't have anything for the Moab, unfortunately. So what should we do for that? Let's just do this. Let's just make it cool. Let's just make like a little death trap here. Go like this. Well, we need more of them, obviously. I don't have one yet. That's pretty silly. But I think this will be pretty solid. So there's our first mauler. I think you need like, tw what, 12,000 maulers to actually be efficient with this, but it'll at least take it down enough. Because as you probably know, mortars, the reason why I hate on them so much is just they're so completely and utterly useless when it comes to the Moab class balloons. They do absolutely nothing. Like they're just garbage. I know there's some strong words. Yeah, see what I mean? Oh my goodness. If it wasn't for Sada though. Okay, so now we have three. Should we get four, five? Let's make a little pyramid here. And what's silly is we're completely reliant on this guy to decamel everything for us. So that's kind of silly. But so far, so good. It's really cool how you can just pretty much use any strategy and you'll be pretty solid, you know? So does anybody know off the top of their head how many hits it takes to pop down a Moab? Because if it takes, let's say, six from a Mauler, then just have six Maulers and then they can just like literally one shot and then second shot the second one on like 57 or whatnot. And you're in a pretty good spot in my opinion. So let's just get like maybe eight of them. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? How did that get past us? I think we need to change this up a bit. I was so focused on these stupid maulers and look what happened. I need $8,000 for a big one and I think that will help us out a lot. And then I'll get a village to speed them up and to give them camo so we don't have to worry about this guy. Probably sell this guy at that point because we really don't need, like Bernie stuff is cool, but we don't need damage over time towers, I don't think anyway, because we're not trying to do damage over time. We're trying to just eliminate them quickly. 
Now, would this work there? Yes, probably. Woo! Go like this one, and then we'll sell you. We'll get this one to camo, and now we should be okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. This is a pretty solid strategy. And just because we can, we'll get this one up to this one because it's pretty good. And I think this should carry us all the way. Nothing should get past even like this last smaller here. Yeah, look at that one. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. But why not? Let's just go a little bit even more ham on this. Oh, and since we have these, we might as well get primary training, make them even better. I do want to do more of these strategies. You guys gave me a lot of cool ideas. A lot of the ideas or a lot of the comments I was getting regarding towers, everybody wants me to do a top top path fifth tier glue gunner. The balloon solver. Now, I don't know if you guys saw it on Town Center, but we needed a lot more than what we had because we did go with the top path balloon solver. It just wasn't strong enough for, let's say, like DDTs in the 90s and things like that. But we can counteract that with, let's say, like a frozen guy or something or go with a mad. Like if we had a mad right here shooting down this path and then a glue gunner right here to take. Oh, that dude, 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 that's going to be our chimp strat. Hopefully we'll try. We'll try. But it'll for sure be our impoppable strategy. There's going to be a mad shooting here, like down the path. And then we're going to get a balloon solver here. And so basically the, the mad's going to, of course, obliterate every single Moab class and the balloon will take down all the balloons and then nothing will get past like this section here, which I think is pretty solid. And that's 60 for us right there. 137 bucks. We're getting there. And then we're going to go to here, here, here and military only. We'll hit play this one right there. Okay. God, I need to be faster at placing, but to hit a hotkey for a hero, it's you. And then I'm like way far away from doing anything. It's like you and space bar and they're not close because you is in your right hand if you're on a home row. You know what I mean? So now this was my concern was that what do I do next? Probably just get a dartling gunner because now I get 850 or I get extra $200 cash. That's pretty good. So that's where that military path would come in, right? Because if we had the cheaper military up front, this guy would already be on the map in like the first two rounds and we'd already be way going way faster because this is garbage. Like he's missing everything on purpose, I swear. And the sad part is, is even if we get to Hydra Rocket Pod, so we got camo covered, we got lead covered, but we don't have Moabs covered. Like it's bad, 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 bad. So we need like the top path of this guy, the Plasma Accelerator. And then what would be cool is the Plasma Accelerator Monkey Knowledge where you cross the streams together. That just sounds funny saying. You cross the streams together and then they like make this lava pool, which is just unbeatable. So I thought the best idea would be to get a helicopter, which I still think it might be. But the problem is I want pursuit, obviously, but then we have nothing for lead. We do have on 28, but not the next one. So I think I will, I'll sacrifice a little bit here. We'll take a risk because the next thing I want to get is a mortar to make sure we can pop all those leads. I just want pursuit because that thing's super helpful and I don't have to think about it anymore. So boom, pursuit. There was a time in Bloom CD6 history, if you didn't know, that pursuit was pretty awful and it's still not the best, but it was awful. Like it just wouldn't work and it would just go wherever it felt like and ah, oh, geez, see what I mean? See what I mean? Dude, 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 you're in memory lane over here being a goofball. But yeah, it just wasn't the best. And now it's like pretty solid where it does the job. All right. So see, like that's ugly. Look how long it's taking. Oh my goodness. Okay. Faster, faster, faster. Okay. So this guy's just handling general like balloons. That's nice. Now I think we should get oof, Hydra Rocket Pods. Yes, I think Hydra Rocket Pods is solid for now because that'll just keep all of our balloons back, like keep them going too far down the track. And then if we focus on getting a helicopter to like Razor Rotors, and then unfortunately I'm thinking we have to go with like bigger jets and stuff, which isn't as good just because I don't want to worry about camo later on. Actually, why would I have to worry about camo? That's stupid. I have, <laughs> I have this guy. He can do everything. Okay, so we're just gonna get Hydra Rocket Pods because now it's cheaper. So they lowered the price of Hydra Rocket Pods and then raised the price of the Rocket Storm, but I don't usually go for Rocket Storm unless I'm going for Mad. So for something like this, it doesn't, doesn't affect me in any way. And then I'm gonna get faster firing in this one. We don't need camo because we have our other guy. And then if I can get 1750 before this one, we're the Moab should be relatively fast, like the fastest we've seen maybe, like maybe. Then I can Sada too, let's see here. Oh, that wasn't that fast. That was gross. It's this guy. Like I expect him to be so good and he's just not. But I mean, I guess it's not completely his fault, but it is, but it is, you know? So we're going to do this again, but this time we're going to go with the top path. Well, after we get this one, we're going to get 3750 for a laser, a laser beam. And then we're going to try to get 11,000 for the other one. And then nothing should get past that front line. That was just really not what I was expecting. It's this guy. He's just not good. Ugh, get out. I'm selling you. You're not good. This one will be better. But he's all over the place too, so we have to like move him here. 
But I honestly don't think I even need this guy. I could just sell him for this one at this point. Yeah, I honestly think this is more than sufficient. Efficient, sufficient? I think we're gonna be okay. And then, we because we can, like this guy is a great Moab popper. If you just go like with the buckshot, right? And they just get this one and put him on. Oh no, he can't use his own attack yet, huh? That thing is so huge. It's the same size as this, that's weird. But once you get blue and aerial denial system, that's when he'll attack for himself. But for now, just have this one just keep blowing holes in all those Moabs and you're good to go. But again, I do need some more experience here. So let's uh, let's just do this one then. Stop, do okay, okay, stop doing that, stop it. Put this one right there and then we'll put more right here and then put another one here. These Moabs just still take too long and it's kind of stressing me out. Like this should help out a little bit, but we really need them just to go away faster. So maybe a couple more planes. <laughs> what if he just had the entire map filled with those planes? Should we do that for one of these? Like maybe like double HP Moab, just have all fighter planes and then have like the, maybe this, la yeah, like have this laser clean it all up. That could be pretty crazy. Or like ultra juggernaut back here. And so when he actually does get this far, it shoots everything. But this laser, man, it's 23,000. So it did catch up. It's better than the hydro rocket pods. I'm okay with that. $137 weak stuff. I can't wait to get out of the beginner map so we don't have to keep stressing about this because we get no money. We are brogies until, okay, okay, Sada, Sada, okay. And then we'll put you here. And that might've been a bad call, honestly, to put him right there. Okay, I'm already worried about it, already nervous. But now we get to test out this awesome guy and I'm super excited about it. So I believe, I believe we've gotten more Pierce more pierce dude i was supposed to use benjamin oh my goodness it drives myself crazy i was supposed to use benjamin to get more money and of course i forgot again but i will not forget for the next one but i believe now when i get heart of oak it actually gives you okay let's see here attack convert regrow balloons and normal balloons. we knew that but gains one percent pierce for every life gained from the starting value after the upgrade well unfortunately we're not going to get lives because we don't have been and we haven't lost the life but the fourth path of this guy does in fact give you lives, but I don't know if we're gonna even make it to that far because that's a lot of money. But that's what that's what I was super excited about, by the way, was that the middle path druid, the fourth path, the fourth tier will now give you a life at the end of each round, which is so cool. And that's not even a monkey knowledge. It's just giving you a life, which is so awesome because when you're just low on stuff, I always had to use Benjamin, but now you don't have to rely on him. But so far, this is, I don't wanna get big headed here too, like, superstitious or what's the word uh jinx it but we are doing better than we ever do with apocalypse and i don't know why like why is it better is it because this guy's like super good but nothing's changed yet we haven't experienced his awesome growth just yet but i know once we get drew to the jungle we'll be okay oh that's because that's why i forget every single time apocalypse starts off as easy and then it just turns to complete and utter balloon double h hockey L hockey six or whatever, <laughs> but for now, I think we got this. And then this guy can be our camo, but we need more camo. So should we go with a ninja or maybe just spikes, huh? Spikes could be pretty solid. You know, let's actually do this. Let's actually do this. This isn't something I would normally do this early on, but I think it'll be a solid plan because this is a very long map and it's kind of atrocious when you miss. So luckily we have them for global range and then we have him for global range. So what we'll do is let's get a basic 0-2-2 and then not only will it help with camos that Sada can't catch, but it'll also clean up whatever gets past. Like right now it'd be a very, very solid play, which is actually should be fine. And is there a level or around 100 Apocalypse achievement? Or did I just do that for fun back in the day? Cause that's always really fun too, trying to get like deflation to round 100 or get any of the modes to round 100. But I think there's an apocalypse achievement, which we're gonna have to do. Oh, and then somebody mentioned in the comments and you guys gotta let me know if you think that's cool or not. But should we do a two TC? So if you didn't know, a two towers chimps means that you beat chimps with only two towers. So we would black border let's say this map with only two towers the entire game, which is just crazy. But should we do that for one of the maps? Probably cubism would be the easiest for me. But if we do something like that, our time would inevitably be slower on chimps mode, but it would just be chimps mode by maybe two or three minutes. Like it really wouldn't change it that much if we went with the right towers on the right map. But then you guys will get the achievement if you're using this as a guide and it'll just be fun to say that we did a speed run with also one of the coolest, most elusive achievements in this game. So let me know what you think. But for this, I think we should get two farms, right? 
So far, my plan's really working. Between these two, we're doing pretty solid. Like, they're great towers. Let's be real. But I'm going to greed just a little bit more and get two farms total. I think that's the better play here. I'm a little nervous because that Moab's going to come flying out of there and we have nothing to pop it, like always. So I think what we'll do is we won't just greed for the bottom path just yet. We do have some time here. So I will get another tower. I know semi-automatic will get us through everything just a little slower than I'd like. But at least we know it's a safe choice. Except for we don't know when the camo lead's coming out. And we well, we have Sada's ability though. Okay, I'm doing it anyway. You can't tell me what to do. I, I'm so bad at this. I greed, I greed, I greed. And if I just didn't greed, I'd be fine. Like a lot of people are telling me that I shouldn't get so crazy on half cash. Because I'm like so worried about farming that I could have just literally bought towers and been okay. But I'm like, no, no, no. I gotta farm. I have to. It's like an addiction. It's crazy. Because for just $100 more than buying this one, I could buy like a really solid sniper and know that the next few rounds will be okay. But look at my risk paid off because it doesn't really matter. We're going to be fine right We're going to be fine right now, guys. Those ceramics are kind of wild, aren't they? But we're going to grab this one here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. And that puts a significant amount of like pops to us, obviously. Like we're doing killing it. And then we got to start using our abilities more. What the heck? I can't. Her ability is like locked again. My, my keyboard does this to me. Maybe it wasn't ready. No, it was. It was in the colored. It wasn't like darkened out like this, but yeah, it's just not working. Ah, oh, come on, Sada. Okay, I have to unplug the keyboard. Hopefully, we don't lose in the meantime. So far, so good. Okay, now it works. A, <laughs> a few months back, I spilt. Oh my goodness. So I make these Amazon videos. Oh, geez. Where I like review stuff on Amazon and like on the actual Amazon page, like not on YouTube. And I was reviewing this water bottle thing I have. And then sure enough, guess what I did? I accidentally dripped the water all over my keyboard. So I spent the next like two hours trying to, oh my goodness, we got to stop talking. How do I get past this a little bit better? Um, I just want this guy to be elite defender. So let's just do this then. There we go. And I spilt water all over my keyboard and I spent the next couple hours like just trying to clean it out, blow dry it out, do all that. And it worked and it's working great. But then every once in a while, this weird stuff happens. So what are you going to do? Okay, so that's pretty solid. But I did notice a monkey knowledge that said that the elite defender has a permanent uptime or no delay. So does that mean he has a delay right now? I don't see it. Well, I guess a little bit, but that's just the round ending, right? But we need to get this one out because we're going to get lives. Look at that. We have 151 lives now. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. All right, but seriously, stop being stop being bad at this. Let's get something else here. Let's just grab this one for now. And then we'll out buff them both because why not? Actually, just keep making death row. Death row of tacks if I can fit them. Oh, there we go. That was easy. <laughs> we actually didn't lose on a pop loser once. We're actually doing pretty good. So maybe it wasn't necessarily the fact that... Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? It wasn't necessarily the fact that we're not upgrading anymore. Maybe it's just the fact that like we're getting more experienced at playing these rounds and what to do and what not to do and what to look out for. Because I know that the first few of Poplips is I like just wasn't preparing for the regens for some reason. And then they just regen right to the end and I lost. But I think with this one, this will be a good chance to check if the sub is if, like actually slower. Because I know it's going to be slower, but it shouldn't be if I have it like buffed up with a village and stuff like just it's this delay here like that is slow like i feel like i could like catch that you know like ah, i just caught it you guys can't see because i don't have a webcam on but like i just caught that you know what i mean and so who knows but what's cool about it is we go like this go like that and now the range is pretty much to the door and i'm gonna not farm i'm gonna not greed here because i don't think i have to i think i just my addiction with the farming is the fact that you just get it faster at the end so and it gives you something to do in the beginning because the beginning is so boring to me because you just sit here waiting for small numbers to come through but when you start farming you actually get to make some moves and that's what i really like to do is do things i don't want to just sit here which is why deflation is probably my least favorite mode is because you don't do anything it's so boring you guys want to hear a crazy story though if not just skip ahead a few seconds here or a few minutes so we got new iPhones, which means that we have to turn in our old ones for credit and they can't be damaged and they have to turn on and all that kind of good stuff. Well, just a week before the new iPhones came out, my wife's phone stopped using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Like they just didn't work. So it wouldn't connect. It just wouldn't turn on at all. Like the Wi-Fi ticker was grayed out. So you couldn't turn on Wi-Fi at all on the phone. Clearly something's broken and the Bluetooth just kept spinning around in circles. Now, and I also got to pay attention to make sure we got some lead and stuff. So I was left with like a broken phone, but we were like, who cares? The new phones are coming out. Let's just, you know, get the new one and then transfer it over and then just get rid of the old one. Well, turns out you have to turn off Find My iPhone. It's like this thing that we have on them and there's, it's stupid. But I'd turn off Find My iPhone 
in order to trade in the phone because you can't give a locked phone back to Verizon, right? And so now I can't because it turns out you have to have Wi-Fi to turn off the activation lock. So I'm in this perpetual, like really bad spot. So I go on Apple and I talk to their help, you know, which isn't much help as you guys probably know, anything like that, just never actually helpful. And we do the, oh my God, is this serious? Is this serious? We need something better for lead. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Dude, the Alchemist is so bad. Let's just do this for lead for now. I think this is the best way to do it. So Apple tells me to go through the basic things. You know, that's why I just hate calling in customer service things. Like it just, it's like, did you turn off your phone? Did you try restarting the phone? Did you try restarting it on your computer? Did you try turning it into the iCloud? Like, yeah, of course. I know there's people that don't do that stuff. I understand, that's why they have to go through it. But it's like a waste of 20 to 30 minutes. And then you're like, okay, let's get to the good stuff. And he tells you, he says, go into iTunes, which I haven't had iTunes on my computer in like since 2005. And he says, do all this crazy stuff, turn on the phone, turn off the phone and turn it into, it's called backup mode or something or recovery mode. Well, fast forward a few minutes or a few hours, honestly, just kept go cycling through. They like bricked my phone. And the guy's like, well, you need to restart your computer. That's the problem. And I said, with all due respect, you've told me to do all of these things and nothing has worked and you've made my phone worse. So I really don't feel like restarting my computer because now we lose this conversation. Well, here's a case number. Gives me a case number that's, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. So then I, we go through a few minutes later and I'm like, okay, because we were trying something else in the background. I forget what it was. But then he gives me the case number again and it's a different number. And I said, okay, so you changed the case number. Which one is it? And he goes, oh, it's this one. And I'm like, oh, see, I would have been totally just left on the outskirts with that if I didn't ask. So then I restart my computer. It didn't do anything at all. And I was like, I don't want to re reach out back to this guy. He did not help me in any way. Nothing against him. It's just, it was a waste of my time. They're there just for the basic, like, did you turn off your phone? Did you plug it in? Is it, is the power even on? Like, is it dead battery? And so they're just not, not there for me. But so far the strategy is actually working out. <laughs> if you guys gotta let me know if these stories are, are good or not good. I just like telling stories, but if they're too much for this and making this videos way longer than they need to be, let me know. So then I'm sitting there, it's about 12.30 at night now. Like I started around nine o'clock and that's kind of cool that Apple could respond that late. Like it was pretty late already. And so it's about like 12.30 now and I'm like, I can't give up because we have to turn these in. Like we're getting like $800 credits. So that's how every few years I get a free phone because I'll turn in my phone and use that to get whatever like the base line is so I don't have to pay any money to app or Verizon besides like the activation fee and their like it's Thursday fee of like $50, you know, that stupid stuff. But other than that, you don't have to like have a monthly bill on your phone. And so I'm sitting there doing this over and over myself. I'm like restarting it, trying all these things. It's locked out and then, oh no, I left off. Yeah, yeah, they bricked my phone. And so I couldn't get out of the recovery mode. It's just this black screen that shows like a cord going into it and it just says like, good luck, right? And I'm like, dude, what the heck? But I don't want to deal with them again because they like didn't know what they're doing. And so I found on Google, I typed in like, you know, iPhone recovery stuff. And then I found this thing that said, it'll get you out of recovery mode in one click. And then it'll also repair your Wi-Fi. And I'm like, oh, this is just perfect. This is everything I needed. Let's do it. So I download this free thing. And sure enough, it got me out of backup mode in like two seconds. And I'm like, yes, this thing was awesome. And then it said it will fix Wi-Fi. And I was like, well, since that works so easily, I'll buy it. It was like 25 bucks. So I pay for it. And it sat there, it's screwed around. This is, now it's around like 1.30 in the morning. I'm going through all their processes of refreshing my phone, deleting all of my information, and it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. And then, so I go to bed, my eyes are bleeding at this point. I wake up, I do it again the next morning, and this time, for some reason, it did. It actually managed to reset everything. It started over on the hello, bonjour, hola screen that you get when you start an iPhone, but it said locked to the iCloud. And I'm like, no, because you can't turn it in like that. They're just going to tell you to eat it. And so I do it for another couple hours. I go to Best Buy, the Geek Squad. This guy plugs it into his computer. And within like 10 minutes, he goes, yeah, it works. And I'm like, dude, what'd you do? He goes, I just plugged it into my computer. I'm like, why is your computer different than my computer? He goes, I don't know. It's 40 bucks though. And he's just like super straight face and everything he says. Like, I didn't know that could happen. I didn't know that could happen. But my Wi-Fi is still not fixed. Wi-Fi is still busted. Here we go though. This is reverse. We just talked the entire reverse. Oh my goodness. But we're on hard mode already. <laughs> There's the silver border, guys. Nope, no, 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 no. We're going to try it with Ben. We're going to see if we're faster. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So we're going to try this, but then that's not good, huh? Because now it's like, this isn't going to work in the beginning. We can actually, actually should be fine. Yeah, this should be fine. Look at that. It's actually pretty good. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This actually might not be good. Okay, we need to get glives real quick. 
But long story short, the iPhone Wi-Fi is not fixed and the Bluetooth is not fixed and there's nothing I can do about it. So I just got to turn it in and I think they'll still give me the full credit, but we'll see. It could just be a total waste of time and money and that would be pretty bad, but that is what it is. Totally random story, guys, but that was what I was dealing with for like a whole day. And I don't know if you guys are like me at all, but what happens is I get really fixated on what is what I'm dealing with. So like yesterday was supposed to be, I need to finish, I'm doing construction in my office. That's why I don't show my webcam really anymore too. Cause it's like a lot of mess in here. So that was my goal was like to work on my office and stuff. And then sure enough, that took up like most of my day and it was just kind of stressful. And like, do you guys get like that too to where like you have to beat it? Like you just can't, you can't let that win. And so you have to keep going and keep going until that task that you need done is done. And so that thing just popped up, you know, the night before at 9 PM and I had no intentions of messing with this kind of stuff, but then it just consumed the rest of my night and then my entire morning the next day, because I was like, nope, I cannot get the next item done on my list until I get this done. And then it was like this huge thing. Okay, so this is not working. This was a bad idea. I'm gonna be honest with you. This was a bad idea and I don't like it. Oh, dude, 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 this really, are you kidding me? Dude, 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 oh my goodness. Okay, so Sada, I forgot how great she is. So maybe we should use Ben on Impoppable and not for this one, but I've also been talking so much. Maybe that has something to do with it, but we're doing pretty good. So I do need to get a farm here. Look how much these farms cost. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe even like another druid for now, or how about this guy for better? I think we just keep it pretty simple because I don't think it was a good idea to go with him, to be honest. I feel kind of bad that I did it, but we needed to try it at least. So this is pretty solid, pretty solid. You know what's kind of crazy though? We have nerd bin. I don't like nerd bin. I like sushi bin. This one's like the, he's the nerd bin. And so he's not as good. I know it like doesn't physically affect it, but I just feel like it does sometimes, you know? But I think if we go with spike balls here, it'll take out the Moab, but I'm so used to having Sada to clean up. I might have to like quickly unlock this guy, which is just kind of silly if you think about it. Cause they're gonna, oh, I'm gonna have to, of course. What am I thinking? Oh my goodness, Trojan him. That's what we needed, <laughs> dude, what is he thinking? His whole purpose of being here is the Trojan. So it's faster. I guess he can't, s no, 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 no. He's hitting all these ones super fast, but he couldn't hit that Moab fast. Get out of here with that garbage, Ben. Ben's lazy. Do you guys know anybody named Ben? Are they lazy? Cause I feel like it's just a lazy person, honestly. Cause this is ridiculous. Letting everything go through. Saw is the girl, that's for sure. We cannot change her. But I am serious. Ben's gonna help out a lot when it comes to double HP mobs. The fact that he can just one shot them like, well, no. No, 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 no. He's actually worse for double HP, huh? Yes, because the balloons underneath the double HP aren't any buffer. I never even thought of that. That's crazy. So I was thinking that if I had Ben, we can just one shot the Moabs, but no, their health doesn't go down. It's just, it still takes just as long to take down the double HP Moabs, but Ben just makes it so we don't have to clean up the ceramics. So he's gonna be great for half cash, but not so much for double HP, but he is gonna be great for half cash and impoppable, I think for sure. I think we're gonna use Ben for impoppable. Oh, hang on. I totally just realized what's going on here. So every time you get a life at the end of a round, you get extra pierce on your Heart of Oak second tier druid. So if you were going with the Avatar of Wrath, one of my favorite strategies in this game, your Avatar of Wrath is gonna have a, a double essentially because it goes up to 100%. If you get 100 lives, you're gonna double your pierce on that guy, making him just piercing crazy. That is insanity, but that would take 100 rounds to get there unless you bought like <laughs> several of these guys, I guess. Or, no, 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 you also have, let's say you have a few marketplaces with the monkey knowledge. You have a Druid, you have a Chinook, but Chinook doesn't go above like these ones do, right? Chinook only stays. Same with like Ben, Ben only gives you back what you lost. So you'd have to sac, okay, okay, okay. So you'd sacrifice. If you're going for an Avatar of Wrath strategy, you would sacrifice lives so you can build up the bottom path. Cause I think you get up to like a hundred lives lost where you get like super strong and then you get them all back with the other towers. That is really cool. I could see that happening for sure. Now this guy, we're gonna put on target independent now, and now he's gonna be literally wrecking it. And then we're gonna go like this one. We'll go like that. We'll go from camo, even though they can already see camo, except for he can't. This is really good. This guy's really strong. I like this, but 62,000 is a lot of money though, like a lot. 
and his range isn't the best. Like if you could give him infinite range, imagine just placing him right here and he just shoots the entire track down. That could be pretty cool. But here's another solid reason for Bin too. I just used his second ability, which degrades all the balloons. So that ceramic rush was just not a ceramic rush anymore, making it super fast to take out. And if you're losing, it'll make it like not make you lose. So that's pretty awesome. And then let's actually go with this one. Everyone wants to see it. Let's do it. Let's put him right here. Actually, let's put him just in the front. Forget about it, right? Right there. Because we're going to have enough for him pretty soon here. So is it better to have this one like right at the edge like that? Yeah, I think that'd be better, right? Because then he's getting more damage right at the very beginning. But it's not going to matter once we get the glue gunner. He's just going to take everything anyway. And do you guys remember back when the glue gunner wasn't best to go top path with middle? It was best to go top with bottom. But then ever since they put in those little green goobly things, now it's better to go with the middle path. Just throwing everything out of whack. Let's get rid of that one. It's bugging me. We're not really using him. Let's give primary training so our glue gunner is even better. And honestly, like, I don't think we need to do anything else, right? This is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, we could just put some more damage on, just call it a day, just go like that. Maybe get the $8,000 one. Let's just do that then. Well, actually, we could save up for the cool one. I'm gonna put it like all the way over, right there. There we go. Now, the true test is 75. If we can keep all these like 75 BFBs that are on this behind this, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good strategy. I really like the Bez. He's at 37,000. The guy's at 45 is actually better. Oh my goodness. And this one's obviously gonna wreck everybody. He is a fifth tier and he's just broken. We can even get spiked mines here in a minute. There we go, spiked mines. And because we can, we have a lot of money. Let's go like this one. And then we'll actually sell both of these and then buy this one. There we go. Use that little Benjamin power there to make that ceramic rush go away. And if you can time between 79 and 80 perfectly, you don't even have to play 80, but I don't want to slow, oh, did I do it? No, I missed it, that would have been really cool though. But it doesn't look like they're gonna get past, and they didn't. That was probably the fastest run we have done yet. I'm pretty sure there's no arguing that. That was huge fast. Now, Benjamin, for that Magic Monkeys only know we're gonna switch to Obin. Dude, switch to Obin, what are you doing? And we're gonna go to Magic Monkeys only, just because why not, right? Now I should be able to get him right away, which we do, awesome, awesome, awesome. But Obin is not good on his own. Like he's just not, he's gonna die off pretty quickly. So I think the best would be to go for a Druid because he gets those buffs right away, those Pierce buffs, and then we'll go with a Ninja, and then we'll go with an Alchemist and just keep everybody at the front here. But now if you can beat chimps mode in this little range right here like if we can make it to where nothing really gets past this section like let's say right about there we can take on pretty much any map that has a single lane on it with ease because what does it matter at that point like it doesn't matter where the track is what the track's doing if you can just beat it in one shot right away like that's awesome so here's our plan we're gonna get drew to the jungle put him on first and then we're gonna get hard thorns Keep putting down brambles and I'm just getting in the habit of brambles so I don't forget to pop a camo later on on 24. And then I would like to get this one to a shimmer right in this location. Yes, and the reason why I'm gonna do shimmer, actually why am I doing shimmer first? I don't want shimmer first actually, that's a stupid plan. I'm just gonna go with this one and then go with the middle path. Now that should cover us for the first camos. Now my next thing I would like to do is put this guy here and go with this one. Now, if I could get to the leads before it, we can make a lot of money. I totally didn't think about that. We should have done that first before we actually did the first camo, but we should be okay. A thousand bucks isn't that much. Actually, I don't want to take the chance. Just buy it. Okay, let's just do that because now we're going to get a lot of money. Oh, but this guy's going to stop it, huh? Maybe not. Okay, I got 50 bucks. Dude, I got 50 bucks. What a waste. <laughs> I mean, it's not its not nothing. It just wasn't what I was expecting, that's for sure. All right, let's get back to this guy then. We're going to put him right here. We're going to go this one, this one, this one. Because 33 is going to give us a bunch of camos. I just need to like have him up front more for this kind of thing. But, I mean, he'll make us something, I guess. Now, for Moab, as you can see, we have absolutely nothing. We have a joke of a tower. So, I think the best bet would be to get a flame monkey. But then, is he even going to take down the Moab? Would it be better to go with the ninja? Ooh, this is not, it's actually kind of scary. We might waste a lot of time. Okay, we're gonna just, oh no, this is actually bad. <laughs> it's actually really bad. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna get Dragon's Breath. Oh, dude, 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 are you serious? Oh, you're not serious. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, just pop, 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 pop. That was the worst thing ever to happen. Okay, so we're gonna get that one and then Fire Breath. That's not gonna happen again. That was the worst thing ever. And we're gonna hope there's some more leads to make some more money. And then we're gonna sell for a super because we just gotta pop it open, I think. And then the druid will take down the rest. So we're gonna sell you and then buy this one here as like a cleanup. 
Actually, let's put him here. Why? Why does it matter? It's a, it's a Moab. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that helped, but it felt like it did. Okay. There we go. Let's get some shimmer here. And I'm actually going to rebuy this. I think this is a smart plan still. And we're going to get rubber to gold this time. Okay, okay. Why am I getting BMA? I don't want that one. Now, this is pretty solid. I like this so far. Dude, purples? Jeez Louise, team. Okay, how do I take down purples like a little bit more efficiently? Super, duh. So we're going to go with the weird super. It's going to be funny, but it'll work. <laughs> oh my goodness. These purples are driving me insane. It's because shimmer just sucks. Shimmer really sucks. I'm going to get rid of shimmer then. There we go. I don't want to screw with that anymore because that's just not good. It's a very, very bad tower. It's slow, it's stupid, and it doesn't work. So we'll just stick with this guy. And we'll get Robo Monkey so we can always pop purples. Because there is a monkey knowledge that lets Sun Avatars pop purples. Or no, Ultra Vision pops purples. One of them pops purples, but we don't have that. So that luxury is not ours. So we need to go with this one for now just to kind of tear everything up. I like this. This works. And now we can put Oban's tree. I'm going to place it right here as like a last case scenario. And now we shouldn't have any problems. I'm talking even 63. We should be able to wreck through this thing. But by 63, I'm hoping to have spirit. But now I still, I say this every time, but spirit takes longer. Because if you get like stuck in with a lead, it like he goes through each layer one at a time. So if the last balloon on the map is like a lead one, it just takes 20 minutes to pop it. Maybe not lead, but I've seen it go to like green to blue to yellow to and then it's just like way too long. I'm pretty certain that this guy's made us a ton of money, like a lot. Because we've gotten two Robo Monkeys now, which is pretty wild. So I think this is a lot bigger than I thought. No, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't refresh. I just thought I had already used it on 60. I wasn't really paying attention. That's not good. Well, hopefully we can take down the leads early on this one. And we got this guy doubling up. Let's grab this two and we should be okay. Oh, dude, we're not even getting to our tree. Look at the 63 just getting rocked on. Oh, yes. It's his crits, I think. But honestly, this is 37,800. These sell for 12,000. So 24,000, which means I need 13,800 or 13,600. I think after 13,600, we're going to sell and grab a spirit. I don't know if that's a good play, but we're going to see if it keeps everything at the front and then we'll rebuy one of the super monkeys. This is all for science right now, but we're we're flying through these things so fast. It's like one of our fastest ones for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, ready for it? Ready for it? Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, how fast is this going to be? How fast can we black border in the loop on balloons, TD6? Balloons! I mean, it's not slow. Oh my goodness. And then we can just buy this one now, the good one. But do you see that? Okay, those right there. Do you see how it holds up the round? Like not in that case, the round was still going, but if the round is ending and you have these sitting there, it's going to slow it down, which is kind of crazy. But I think with this one, it'll help Dark Knight. He also has the Oban buff as well. I think Oban's just the reason why this is awesome. I feel like Oban is the man. But what's really kind of insane is how much this one costs. Wasn't it like $4,500 and now it's 8,000? Like I have to be rich to even buy, I have to sell my money tower to even get that thing. That's what's kind of crazy to me. But this is pretty good. And then I think we should use this one too. Because balloons are not our enemy. It's just Moab. So once we get the Moabs open, this guy just one shots everything. He's made us so much money too. Like he's a really good tower. And we have not used the tree once. Like we have not collected any money in our tree, which is pretty sick. Oven has just been a safety net. And it hasn't even gotten that far. Why is this the fastest map yet? Is it because it's just straight at the end? Is it because the angle of it? Because we did this on town center. And it didn't go this well. And Town Center kind of freaked me out, I think. Let's see if this guy does anything. Pretty good, I guess. Pretty good. And it adds seeking to it now a little bit, it says. That's what the update said. That was pretty good. I like that. So now we're going to go to this one. And then in the loop on hard, we're going to do... Oh, double HP. Okay, for this one, we are going to use Ben, though. We need that extra money. We don't need Sada. So we're going to hit this one, play, and hit the free one. Okay, free, free, free. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Let's just leave you on last, then. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was such a bad plan. Sada would be fine right now. Sada would be totally fine. So I'm going to take this little time sacrifice here. I think this is a better play. And then we'll just wait for our Benjamin. I think this is the play right here because nothing's going to get past us. And if it does, oof, the sniper, I just don't really, I'm not digging the sniper right now. I feel like he's just a waste. So maybe Benjamin isn't the play here. Maybe a better hero like Geraldo or Etienne or something. Because Geraldo, we can get his moneymaker, Quincy. And then we can put down those little tax shooter things. No, what are they called? They're like ballistas or something. 
I think that could be a solid play because getting 1165 for a Benjamin is pretty pricey. Like this is nuts. Let's see if it works though. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, I am gonna use Ben for half cash. I don't know if it's the smartest play. What we're gonna do for half cash is we're gonna put everybody back here so there's no problems. Like we'll put maybe the first one here or here and then the second one there so we can clean up all of our mess. And we'll go with this guy as well because he's awesome and can see the whole track. And then we'll grab our bin. But this is not working out how I planned. Oh, because I'm not buying anything, genius. And then I need this guy to have better range. That would help. I think we should stick with the subs for this one, though. I think it's a solid play. Is anybody else weird like me? Like, I don't want to sell a free dart monkey. But the fact that he's there is driving me crazy. Like, I don't need him. But this one's in a better spot. It's such a weird thing. So we're going to go like this one. Grab that one. And then we're going to grab this. I do want to alk buff him for the lead. But then I think we should still get this one anyway. Yeah. Solid play. Solid play. Then we're going to grab a crossbow so we can have a little bit better range, get very quick shots. Now we have a good little team here. This pops all the camos if he misses. And then he's just going to take out that double HP Moab, hopefully anyway. And look at I'm not greeting before 40. I don't think we need to. I'm just going to make sure that I have armor piercing darts, maybe a fourth tier alchemist and something in this little range here, like probably right there so we can pop the other stuff. So there's my armor piercing darts, but I just think this is so slow without money. I don't like it. I like having money. Having no money just makes me feel icky and gross, and I don't like it. But I mean, I guess we can get stronger stimulants. So would you rather be strong? Would you rather be super, like, the, would you rather be the strongest person in the world or have a million dollars? No, see, because you're going to answer, if I say, or a million dollars, you're going to say, well, I'd use my strength to get a million dollars as like a sideshow or something. But did we pop the Moab yet? We did not. I got to stop yapping for just a second. We got to make sure we can pop this thing. So I am going to put this guy here. So that covers that one. So we have all this camo and I am going to sell my free dart monkey. I did it. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Okay. There's no cleanup. So it does speed it up though. Cause there is no cleanup to have to worry about the next round skipping through. We can instantly get to the next round. So I like that a lot, but now the farming starts and you're probably wondering why I just only use these farms. And the reason is, is because I'll forget guys. Like I really, really like to use banks since Benjamin does have the bank buff on him with his little stuff. But the problem is I a hundred percent will forget and I don't collect them. So I end up losing more money than just going with the cheaper farms to begin, like the lamer farms to begin with. And the top path I have to work for it and I don't want to work for it. So that's the kind of the dilemma that we're in. <laughs> I can't talk guys. Have you ever tried talking to yourself for over three hours? And then, well, no, I guess it cuts down to like hour and a half, but either way, like have you ever talked to yourself for that long? It's a little weird, a little bit. I'm gonna get this one too, because I need that lead popping. And then I'm gonna grab, we need the beast handler. I was using the beast handler on this map I created with the new map and it was wild how good the orca is. Just throwing that out there. I think we should go with two fifth tiers of this one, a crossbow master and then maybe even a sub commander. I think that's a solid play because a sub command, oh my goodness, just pop those leads, dude. So let's do this real quick then. Let's just do it. I know we're sacrificing a little bit of time. We're only on 50. So I think this will help us get there a lot faster and I'll get crossbow first and then I'll get, actually who's cheaper? 23 and 27. So we will get this one first. Cause then with him, I have to buy like the MIB and all that stuff. So this is probably better. They're getting so far past my farm. Just driving me crazy. Like they're even coming around to this part of the bend. Like look how far that makes it. That's so gross. So hopefully this will help out a lot. Yes, okay, it does. That's great. That's what we needed. And then the Trojans should get there in time. So we'll get bigger radius, jungle drums, and then primary training since it is a crossbow master. That should help out a lot. And then we should grab this guy and then we should be done. Now, don't worry. We can't always stick with these maps, I feel like, or these farms. I feel like I have to step up my farming for like harder maps on Impoppable just so we can get through them without losing or at least guaranteeing it. Like Flooded Valley, right? Like I'll try to go with four of these marketplaces on Flooded Valley and then I don't have enough money at the end. Or if you get them too late, you're just kind of ruined. So we're going to need bigger, better farms to tear through that stuff. Another great thing for double HPMO would be the fortified killer, huh? Like the, this one would be pretty good. Oh, shattering shells. Don't click stuff. Don't click stuff. Stop it. So I'm going to use by Ben's ability to get through this second rush of ceramics just to make it faster. And look how much faster that is. That is crazy. Okay. That's pretty, or oh, that's the third rush already. Okay. But these fortifies are just kind of bad. They're like taking us out. So I think once I get 3,000, I'm going to sell this guy and just buy the sub commander because I don't think this guy's going to help as much as, let's say, him. So we'll get 23,000. I'm going to use this one to try to get a little bit more money faster, which it works. So we'll buy this one, sell that one. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with some fire, as they say. We'll grab this one, 1620. Well, we don't really need the lead popper because this guy does it. So we don't even need that second path. I kind of just wasted some money there. 
But I am going to buy Shattering Shells right here. Because those Fortifieds don't need to be that difficult. And shouldn't I just keep using Ben's ability like over and over? Because it's always going to make things faster. Okay, there's our Fortified Taker Outer. Because Ben's ability decreases their level of blueness. So I think that's pretty solid. And then I think for the cleanup, because I do, we do need to see how great this is. Because I do want to use this for either Chimps or Impoppable. I think for Impoppable, I'm still going to stick with my idea of putting like a Mad or a Rod down this thing right here. Why does the Dartling Gunner have all those silly names? Mad, Rod, and Bez. But I think it'd be kind of cool to place one right here and just have it shoot down the entire track. So I am, maybe, maybe this will be our time to actually try real farming. Since everything's so grouped together anyway, I don't have to like click blue or bananas around the map. We can just get in one central area. Let's try real farming for once. I think I tried it on an earlier map and failed at it miserably, but I think this might actually work. So if you didn't know, the sub commander does give a buff to his little sub buddies, and we have a total of four of them now. We gotta sell all these farms, so we don't need them, so let's just start buying stuff. And then we'll go like this, and then we might as well just go like this and just put a bunch of these guys down. And just go like that, go like, oh, that's not you. We want S, A, F? We need F. F for alchemist, okay. Let's we'll buy a bunch of them, I guess. Buy some more of these ones, get some acidic mixture dips going. There we go. Don't even need you anymore. Buy another one even. Heck, we'll go with this one. Look at that. They can't even get through the track. This is pretty cool. I don't think it's going to work for the BFBs. Now, these are all just balloons, but I'm going to use this. Oh, I should have used that for 80, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to buy more of these ones, of course, because that's cool. Buy more of these ones. Now, they're just even stronger. They're so strong. But the crossbow's still doing better. He's only at 125 and crossbow's at 145. Granted, I did get the crossbow first, but still. Are we on half cash now? Okay, I am going to use Ben. We're going to do something pretty wild here. Wild and crazy, but I, I like it. We're going to go like this. We're going to go here. And then we're going to go here. And this should be okay for now. And then if I put this one here, two of them. Good? Okay, not bad. I think this could work. Maybe I can rock three until I get to Benjamin, or is that a silly idea? But see, if I just put Sada down, it wouldn't have mattered. We'd already have enough for I could sell a couple of these guys probably. So this might not be the play, but I'm thinking for that first Moab, we don't have to stress as much because all we have to do is take it down because how many times have we lost on half cash because of something stupid like a Moab? So now we don't have to at all because Ben will take it out. Ben is great. I'm just not great, you know? Why do I feel like the closer I get to Ben, like right when I get to like 11, 25 money, it's gonna get past our bow. But luckily nothing's gone up this path yet. So, and even if it did, we can have one more attack at it. So we should be having enough to get our Benjamin, but even he's only gonna give us half our cash. But I don't wanna see anybody arguing with me in the comments about this one because Benjamin is gonna give me money and he should pay himself back. I mean, just the Trojan alone. Now, the fact that we're getting it so late kind of scares me, but I think we'll be okay, maybe. This is what I was talking about though, right? When it gets to this point, now it's a little scary and we're getting a little overwhelmed here, but no, this wasn't bad. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm happy, I'm happy. Probably should have moved him closer so his Trojan doesn't take 30 years to get to us, but I'm okay with it. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. See, exactly the moment I get Ben is when we get into slow mode. Oh, wow. So we're not gonna farm because the farming is not the plan, that's for sure. <laughs> This is so bad. This is so bad. Let's do this one first. I didn't want to. I wanted to get my my druid first, but I think this will be better play for just taking out the last ones. Can't believe this. I mean, I can. I'm probably wasting so much time by going to this direction. Here we go. Let's put you right here. There we go. It'll help out the cause a little bit, you know? So no, I don't see us losing. Oh, no, no, no. I can't wait that. Oh, we're going to wait that long. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I don't see us losing in any way, shape, or form here. I think we can kind of clean up what's going on, but I am very concerned about the time. I think like we're wasting, a, this is a lot of time to waste. Like we're not talking milliseconds, we're talking like minutes, I swear. But maybe not, maybe I'm over-exaggerating. I just, I just look at all these, oh my goodness. But as soon as we get this guy, I'll be okay. And there we go, there we go, there we go. That's, that's what we needed this entire time. Now, unfortunately, this is my plan for now. I'm gonna get this one. This will kind of be our camo taker. Oh, I don't have camo. I don't have camo. What an idiot. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Let's get rid of these guys then. I don't have enough for it. What an idiot. Okay, this one then. Oh my goodness. Can you believe these gameplay moves I'm making? But at least we're going to get our lives back from Ben, which will make this guy's pierce go up. I guess that's cool. I mean, sure. Silver lining a little bit. But we do need something to take down the Moab so Ben can Trojan it if he's in that time frame. So what we'll do is we'll get this one and we'll put him there because it'll range out a little bit, I think, right? We'll go like this. Yes, that'll be fine. That will take down. We will not lose, 
but we may not get what we need like in fastest time ever but we won't lose that's all we that matters really oh my goodness oh my goodness i can't take this i can't take this <laughs> i can't take this dude we are getting wrecked on okay okay so now we're gonna get rid of you and we're gonna buy a sub i think the sub's the best play here so he's gonna give us that extra damage keep everything in the front and now all we have to do is take down the moab and we're golden which should be a lot easier like it should be pretty easy hopefully boom 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 boom, boom. okay cool now we'll get rid of you by you there we go that's what we needed and now we're gonna get i think we should get shimmer too and i think our best chance at survival here would be this one and then we'll place it here because it's going backwards why are you, why are you going backwards genius yeah let's keep it here that's a fine that's fine well actually here yeah right there that's perfect now this should handle everything like honestly everything and look at ben's made his money back plus some and he's given us our lives back like you can't complain he's a pretty solid tower and this is shredding through all the bad stuff i like this a lot this is easy am i buffing ben like please don't buff ben i don't think he can right that's such a waste so he's very much helping us with these moabs like without a doubt because he trojans them well he has he hasn't trojan those two but he trojan the ones earlier and it's very 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 helpful and then if he doesn't this guy will clean up whatever's underneath and this guy is actually just really really good so if we could somehow get prince of darkness like obviously this would be just pretty much done for but I think we're in a good spot now that we're not losing that much time. We're making up for our time. So we just need to put something else in the front here to kind of make this a little bit stronger, maybe a little bit faster for Pop and Moab. So maybe we should just put some tacks up here to break them down a little bit better. But you're talking 34, 55, like that's not cheap. We're only gonna get a few and then 63 is gonna come through and take forever. But basically I'm just trying to get a death row of Moab class. So. We're not slowed down at all because this right here, yeah, that's what I didn't want. Like, it takes too long when you do that. So should I go with embrittlement then? I think that should be better then. At least ice shards. Like, ice shards breaks down a lot of stuff. At least take down, like, some of these fortifieds. But our Ben's Trojan tank those fortifieds. Because if it wasn't for Ben's Trojan, that would have made it all the way around here like that's doing on 63. But this is 63, so that's understandable. But I really, really like this. I think this is a good, solid plan. Now, that's that sucks. That's taking forever. But it still works. And we'll use this one for the last one. Make it super easy. Get some money from it. Grab some ice shards. Boom. Now everything should be shredded. Shredded. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And for this, I'm going to try to just keep using Ben's second ability. I know I say that, then I forget. But I feel like if I keep using it, it'll help us out unless I badly time it like this. Like, imagine if those were just Moabs. It would have been way faster. I'm going to grab embrittlement. That'll help out with our projectiles. I'm actually going to grab another tack here. Another one. Note to self, though, I made a whoopsie. I noted it in the beginning, but Benjamin's way too far away. By the time the BFBs get hit by the Trojan, they're already Moabs. And then it's kind of not making it as cool as it could be. So don't do that. Move them closer for sure. And I always try to do this thing right when I get to 75 or I wait like a couple seconds and then I use the Ben's ability because I would prefer it to take down that like last crazy amount of BFBs that you get that just kind of shred you on 75. But then I always time it badly. If you could time that good and then make the BFBs into Moabs, you wouldn't have 75,000 BFBs coming after you, making it take way too long. So I'm gonna go like now. How about now? Does that work out or did I miss it? I got something. I feel like I just took down some Moabs like a loser. Dude, really? Dude, really? No way, that took forever. So did that and that might not even pass. Oh no, oh no. Okay, he got it. That was really scary. And we're not gonna be able to pop the camo. I just thought of that. Well, with these two, we should. I'm going to have to time this okay on 78. That's not going to be... A that wasn't even 78. That was just 76. Oh, no, 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 no. thank you. No, thank you. Okay, level 75 already. We're flying through this thing. Okay, I used the ability. It should have worked. Okay, it did. Yes. Okay, we have to do that for the second one. And I'm hoping I get enough for recursive cluster by them, but I doubt it. Okay, I'm going to hit it. I'm just going to hit it and hope that it wins. I don't remember seeing a BFB. Oh, it worked. Yes. Okay. That's all we need to do. I don't even care. Like, it's not good, obviously, but it's not the worst. I mean, it could be worse. And just in time for the end here, we got our recursive. This is awesome. And I'm going to try to use this right about now. Can I time that 80 right? No chance, right? No, I missed it. That was too long. Dang it. If I would have timed that right, we just had a BFB on 80 and it would have been super easy. But I don't think this is terrible. And then what we'll do is when it's about to break down, we'll use Ben's ability. Like, now. There we go. Clean up. Oh no, it wasn't, it wasn't good. That wasn't good. Okay, it's gonna work hopefully. Oh my goodness. I'm so bad at this, but we didn't lose. So we didn't waste like seven or eight minutes. So I mean, that's great enough on its own. And now we get to go to alternate blue nouns, but we are going back to Sada. There we go. 
We need Viking Sod. I feel like she'd do a lot better in this situation, to be honest with you. So we're going to put her here. Easy. Easy. There's no doubt in my mind that Sod is a better player for this one because she can pop blood and she can pop camo early on. Like if we got Benjamin, what would we have gotten? A ninja and this put him all the way back here in space and then taking 30 hours. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, keep doing. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, boss. You gotta you gotta step it up here a little bit. And why do I always place the sniper in the dumbest positions? Why don't I just place it up here so when I eventually get like a village, it'll work? What am I thinking half the time? I don't actually know. So far, I have the basic beginning that I always open up with on alternate balloon rounds, but I think for this one, we should just keep going with mortars. They're pretty solid, and if I get with this one first, we can take care of camo and lead. We just gotta make sure we can get signal flare. It's just so slow, so we need both. But I think we're gonna get camo lead at 24, so I'd rather just get signal flare first than worry about the speed of this guy. But if I had like two of these, or like uh, even the bottom path fifth tier would be pretty wild, but that's, you know, we're only going to 80 rounds. We're not doing 100, so we don't really need the balloon incinerator or whatever that thing's called. But with rapid reload, this should take down even the camo leads, and it did. Okay, that's not bad at all. And then Sada does all the rest of the work, and then we forget him. We haven't even unlocked triple shot yet, that's pretty goofy. Because we could actually get a Paragon now, like the Dart Monkey Paragon, in an Impoppable game. Because 125,000, that's, isn't that cheaper than like, the, oh my goodness. That's cheaper than the, the Spike Factory Spike Mines and the fifth tier of these, of the Super Monkey. And it's like almost as much as the Rod, the Ray of Doom. That is so crazy to me. But while I'm over here like fanboying over the new and improved Dart Monkey Paragon, we do need to get some money here. So we are going to round 80 on alternate and the first one is going to be a fortified. I, dude, I always forget that the first one's a fortified. So I think what we're going to do for that one is go with, I think it's cheaper to go with the Moab Shove. Yes, Moab Shove is definitely going to be cheaper than going with like an, an entire main Moab on the sniper. But 1730 for this guy, come on. We'll put him here because why not? Put it right there because why not? This guy's coming in really good handy though. I'm pretty proud of him. I didn't expect Signal Flare and Bernie stuff to like do that much work, but it is. And then there's our Moab shove just to be safe. And we'll get bigger jets. And then why not? We'll grab Sharpshooter. I love it. This is actually good. It's gonna take a good minute to actually pop the Moab, but we can kind of continue with what we have here and not stress about it too much while we keep farming. I'm pretty sure actually. Nothing's getting past us and then he can't get past us. Oh my goodness, seriously? Okay, that I mean, that wasn't the worst turn of events, but what the heck was that? This time I think we're just gonna go with three farms and they are gonna be the marketplace because we're not gonna try the top tier farm until Impoppable, but I really think that it's gonna make us go so much faster because once we get the Mad and then we get, what tower did we say we're gonna get with the Mad? I forget, but we're gonna get something that's gonna be cool. Oh my goodness, so Sada's not enough. I don't like that, I really don't like that, but we need money, so I'll just, I'll just continue with this for now. I'm actually going to do this. We're going to grab a Deadly Precision. It's probably not the best idea since it's like, all the oh my goodness, Sada, do, 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 do. Okay, this should help. Yes, okay, that should help. Help, 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 help. Okay, this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. I'm not happy. I am not happy with what's going on here. So I'm going to grab this one. That should be fine. That should be a good cleanup. This is not my ideal team at all. This is pretty bad. And I'm pretty embarrassed, to be honest. But this should help us out. Oh, it didn't. It didn't. Oh, dude, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Dude, just get rid of those. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, come on, think, think. Stop stop panicking, just think. Okay, this one here, we're gonna go like this. Okay, that one there, like that. There we go, there we go. That was some super speedy stuff, but it worked. And then we got this one now. It's still ugly, it's so ugly. How do we make them, what are we working with here? Because they're all fortified, that's why, huh? So we need to get this one for 11,000. I think that would help us out a lot. And we can just take down, well, I don't know. I don't like how he's keeping everything at bay. It takes too long that way. Okay, Sada, dude. Okay, switch it out. Let's let's do this instead. This one worked really well earlier, so why why not fix what's not broken or whatever that saying goes? We need eleven thousand dollars, and we're about to have it. So sell this one. Oh, dude, I miscalculated. Oh, I did that again too. Okay, there we go. That should be okay. That's pretty clean, actually. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That works. And then because we can lock this one and get a hydro rocket pod too. And with that, we should be okay. And then I am going to get Shattering Shells since those Fortifies are coming out like crazy. I think Shattering will help. And then if I could afford, like right now, easy done. You know what I mean? Like that just wasted so much time that it didn't need to be there. Because we're taking out regular Moabs and BFPs like it's nobody's business. And now we have Sada's ability too. That's good, good, good. 
I'm actually not a fan of how slow we're going, but maybe this will help. And I'm gonna unlock this one real quick and then unlock, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Blue incineration, oh my goodness. I could've got the other one that I wanted, but that's fine too. Cause I don't plan on going this far back into the map. So a mortar using bigger or whatever is not the biggest, coolest thing. But blue incineration could be fun. Look, okay, that's what we wanted. That's working out really well. And then it won't hurt to take down the Moabs this way too. We'll get the long range with the uh, camo there so we can see camo. And then if we get aircraft carrier, he'll shoot down those things Actually, actually, our balloon popping power is pretty solid. And if I get this one here one more time, just right there, get that little laser guy. So like we'll sell him for the lasers. Cause now we have like the ultimate, gosh, oh my goodness, stop doing that. Okay, let's buy the mad then because I don't want to keep doing that. I buy this one too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We got a full unlocked fifth tier for when that dartling gunner paragon comes out and it costs $1.2 million to buy it. Okay, now we got an ultimate cleanup. So now we just have to worry about taking the Moabs out. So if, am I wrong with this? If I go like this? Cause if we just buy a bunch of these, we should be okay. Now the rockets take a while to get there, but we should take out BFBs and Moabs pretty quickly. This might be a little bit of an odd strategy. I'm not gonna lie, but at least it's something different, right? At least test it out to see if it's working. And it seems to be doing pretty good. We're shooting rockets like a crazy person. We can get rid of this one. So let's just buy a bunch actually. Cause now if they all just shoot rockets, like they should all just pretty much instantly lose. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much how that should go. So we are fine on the Moab class. Like there's nothing that could stop us now. Are they getting damage? Do those rockets do actual good damage to the Moabs or they just help take them out faster? So, I mean, just add some more. Could you technically just like beat every single map super fast if you just spam stuff? I don't see why that wouldn't work. Like this is pretty legit, honestly. Cause now there's gonna be so many rockets, but actually look how slow they're going. I did not expect that to be honest, but we'll use it and then we'll go like this, use that one and then use that one and that's done. Game over, impoppable, right? Dude, was that still 79? Ah, oh, what a loser. Okay, keep going, keep going. We're making good time, we're at 151. I think we could definitely beat our record here, but remember, remember, Benjamin, he will be faster, I guarantee it. Well, I didn't guarantee it, but I'm close to guaranteeing it. And then we'll use you here, I guess. I just go like this. Oh, dude, why you go so fast though? Why are you so fast? Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. Put a sub here. And I'm trying to make it to where you can hit everything. So like right there, there we go. Perfect. Now we wait for Ben at 1295 and then we start making our, our descent. No, our ascension, not descent, ascension. Actually though, I don't think it's smart to get Ben right away. I think it's smarter to actually speed this up a little bit. Don't you think? Like if we put this guy here, we don't need this one. Yeah, this is actually better. This saves us a lot of time. And then since they're all gonna start overwhelming us like that, I think it's best to get this one too. And now we should be totally, yeah. Oh, da da da, that's way better than getting Ben. Maybe not though, because he will give us that money. But I think this is the plan for sure. Now remember, the goal here is simple. Well, not only to go super, super fast and not lose, that is like the biggest thing is to not lose, but we're going to try to make enough money with the top path farms this time that we have enough for a mad or a ray of doom shooting down this track. And then the BEZ like at the front, was it the BEZ that we wanted? Yeah, we wanted like two of these guys, right? Just shredding through everything. Oh no, no, no. You guys really wanted to see the glue gunner. So I'm thinking we should rock a glue gunner and like a mad or a rod, depending on how much money we have. But we're gonna put this guy at the front this time because that was my mistake. If you put Ben too far back, the Trojan takes 30 years to get there. So not a good plan. So first let's make sure we got our camo covered because the sub on its own can carry us for a while for a relatively cheap price while we like kind of like greed on farms a little bit. And again, I think it'll be better for us to lose a bit of time here, I think. But I don't like how long that's taking. Maybe I should have him help. And I'm gonna put you here, actually you here. Cause he doesn't have a block on this screen. So it's better just to put him up right in the front. And then here's gonna be our lead popper. Now I'm hoping this can let me get my first farm. I'm hoping and it won't get past us. That's the goal here. What if Ninja Kiwi comes out with like a speed up thing like I want where I can go like times three speed so it goes crazy. And then that means like technically every single thing has to be redone. Cause now you can beat it like 10 times faster. Wouldn't that be, oh dude, I'm doing it again. I'm yap, blah, 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 blah. Just blab, blab, blabbing. Here we go with that one. But it's technically not like faster to go with those farms, right? Isn't it better to go with the bottom path farms and then sell for the one farm once you get it? We'll try it a different, I got a plan. I got a plan, that's all I'm saying. I know what I'm doing here, guys. I'm a professional. Professional loser, <laughs> okay. Trashing myself. All right, let's grab a triple gun though because I know we can't take 36 like this. Done this enough times to know that we're gonna get wrecked on. Yep, there we go, perfect, cool, cool, cool. 
1470, buy this one. So I'm gonna greed one more farm because I think that's what we need here to get what I really want. There we go. And then what I need to do is, well, it's just a Trojan, right? So we're fine. I just need to go a little bit faster. This is kind of taking way too long. This is my fault for greeting. So we're gonna grab this one and we're gonna grab it to acidic and then a Berserker Brew, of course, if we can grab it before 40. So then the ultimate question is, am I greeting too hard? I always ask myself this, but I feel like I am, but look how fast that is now. That was way faster than even the balloons right there. That was great. But now we have a choice. We either have to get the armor piercing darts or we have to get the large caliber and the deadly precision because those ceramics are going to wreck us. So I think it's actually better to go with deadly precision in my, in my honest opinion here. There we go. Now ceramics will not bother us. Here's a total of eight farms, which is a little overdoing it, but I don't think it is to be honest. I want eight and then I want, actually let's go with nine farms. It doesn't look as good, but yeah, I don't like that actually. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get one regular farm, like the bottom path. And then I'm going to just upgrade all the top ones. And I think that should be faster here. We're doing really well. Like we're not getting slow or anything. Everything seems to be kicking some butts here. So that's fine there. I am gonna upgrade this guy to the armor piercing darts because eventually we're gonna need something. Cause look at this, it's kind of overwhelming us now. But we got armor piercing darts super fast. So the Moabs are gonna take more time than I want them to. So let's grab a stronger stimulant too. And then here's the plan. We're gonna get two more farms or maybe three more farms up to this one so that can help us get the top path farms a little faster because then we can sell them and then get them faster to make that extra money. So maybe one more, one more. But if it wasn't for Benjamin, this would be a lot slower. So I'm very, very happy for him. And then we're gonna get this one just for the camo in case something does slip by. And I am not going to be using like monkey knowledge or sorry, monkey farmers or anything because I don't think that's fair because some of you might not want to use them or don't have them. So if you are trying to like follow along with this, it's probably not the best idea. But I am greeting like crazy here, which is a bad idea because 63 is coming up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change it up just a, just a tad. I think this is working, even though it seems like it's slower. I don't think it is. I really don't like we're making crazy money. It's just really hard to farm like this, though, to be honest. It's kind of scary. Oh no, we can't pop these? Oh my goodness, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have to buy something here just to do this. Okay, there we go. That was sick. That was super gross. Okay, that's great. That's great right there. Go like this. Okay, like that. We don't have Ben's ability, unfortunately, yet, so that's kind of a bummer, but I think we can do this one right here. Go like this, all the way up to primary training. Get this one to camo. I think we're doing great. This should be fine. It should take it out. Okay, not the best. Oof, not the best. So these fortifieds are too much. We definitely need a fifth tier right now. I feel like I greeted a little bit too much here. So what should we get? Maybe this will help us. Ugh, I'm so sporadic if you guys couldn't tell. I have not thought this through. This is kind of scary. I need 22,000 for a research facility. We have to stop farming by 80 so we can kind of just take on everything and go kind of crazy with it. I did say I wanted to get a, oh, we, no, we need, our, we need our farm. We need our farm. That's what we need to do. We need to stop going crazy and get a farm. And we're doing actually pretty good. I'm happy with this. And there it is, there it is. There's our first one. Oh my goodness, thank God. So here's the plan now. We have four of these farms left. So I'm going to sell each of them to get me closer. So that's 5,500, I need 22,000. So at 17,300, I'm going to sell one farm and then do it over and over and over until we get all of them up there. Cause it'll just get us there a little faster. I know these wait make way more, like clearly, look at that. And then we can go like this, sell, buy this one, do it again, get 17,000, sell it. We can actually buy this one though, because we need to get some, a little bit better popping power. And this is kind of gross, but again, I think it's faster. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep telling myself that. Okay, is our 17,000. Let's sell this one, buy this one. So we're doing 75 pretty easily. Like I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. And I can sell this one for another farm here. Look at us go. It's not the fastest, but it will be. Sell this one now, I think, after we get the ability going, because I keep actually remembering to use that, which is nice. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're gonna sell you, we're gonna buy this one here, buy it here, move it there. So I was gonna go for the mad first, but I think that's a bad idea since it costs so much. We're gonna actually, oh, that was so bad. We're gonna get this guy first, we have to. I think I screwed this up. This is taking way too long. But given that impoppable or chimps only takes about 15, 15 to 16 minutes. I think we can do this and still beat our best time yet. There we go. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so there's our mad. That's what we needed. Now everything is golden, but we're obviously gonna speed it up because we could have just sold these for a lot of money. That'd be like 80, $100,000 right there, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go even crazier. Get this one here, and I think we should even go with the Ray of Doom. Can we afford all that? If we can, that is just wild, which I think we can to be honest. 
But with that glue gunner and this, this team is ultimately like unstoppable. There's nothing that could take this down because the mad's fast enough to just kind of wreck everything, especially if he uses ability. It just keeps it at the track. This guy, we need $96,000. Looks like we're going to get it instantly. Like this is getting insane. You can actually get rid of you now. I don't even want that clutter. Same with this guy. It's just costing us money. But is the sack, the huge sacrifice, there's our ray of doom. Was that huge sacrifice worth it in the beginning though? Like that took so long. Was it worth it? Let's go with this one too then. Might as well out buff these guys. Why not? Make them stronger. They're already faster. Like they're not coming through the screen now. So that's exactly what we wanted to do, which works. I mean, is that, was that what we're doing though? Is that what we wanted? And they're, go they're going through a little bit. So let's actually sell everything. This is the time. We'll buy this one. Buy the uh, MIB here to take down those DDTs. Actually, let's just buy this and just make it super crazy. We'll take down the, the, the mad or the big bad really quickly. So on 100, we'll just take it down. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Super fast. Was that worth it though? Let's see. We're at 207. I think we can take this out. This is it, guys. This is it. What are we going to do for chimps? Not you. That's for sure. Let's go back to Sada, our girl, and we'll go like this, and we'll go like this one. And you guys wanted to see the glue gunner, so that's what we're going to do. And you guys got to let me know what you want to see next time uh, because the glue gunner is not going to be the best for this. I'm going to tell you right now. He's going to be kind of slow. Oh, dude, I didn't think about this. This is not good. Sada's at a low level. Dude, why do I always do this? This could actually be very bad. Come on, Sada, you got this. You're the girl. You're the girl. You're the goat girl. All right, so let's just do this then, I guess. We'll save this one if we need it. Let's actually start with our glue. Have him help out a little bit. That'd be actually kind of fun. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, kind of bad, kind of bad. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Okay, that'll just be for like last second cleanup, our one little dart there. Now, what else do we want to go along with the glue gunner to tear it open? Um, the mat will take too long to get there. So I'm thinking like we could just go with a few super monkeys, like get three of them or something. And then maybe a spear of the forest though. What else could be faster? A helicopter Apache would be really good and it would save us. It'll save our skin if something bad happens. But I really did like our sub style. Like we've been rocking the sub this whole time and it's doing pretty awesome. But the mortar could be fun too. Ooh, there's so many choices here. We got to start buying something though. But we can at least start with this one. Okay, how about that? Oh my gosh, my mind is just blank right now. I don't know what to do and I don't want to spend money unless we really have to. Should we go with a sub? Oh my goodness, Sada, Sada, Sada. Yes, we're going to do a sub. I think a sub is a great plan because then the glue gunner, yes, between the glue gunner and the sub will be fine. I like this a lot. Took me a minute to set it up, but we're going to be okay. Now looking at this spreadsheet, the fastest time is 227. I think we can beat this if I stop making these terrible mistakes, but I think we can actually do this. Now I don't want that to be our lead popper, so I am going to buy this one and then hope we can get enough for that because relying on the glue is going to be really slow. I mean, it works, but it's just slow. It's working. It's just, oh my gosh, the glue up front. Who thought of that? We could still do this though. I just have to beat 22. We got this. We actually have this. And maybe it was Ben's fault. Let me know below. But I think Ben was the reason why we're doing really well. I really do. I'm going to go out on a limb there. Oh my gosh. Our camo ability is pretty bad. So let's use what we got there. I don't want to waste anything. Have you guys ever tried to just run a chimp strategy off the top of your head? Just like at that moment and not lose at the same time. Like just you have to play at your best and make sure nothing happens and start off with a glue gunner of all towers. That is super goofy. But with armor piercing darts and this, I'm not going to upgrade this one anymore because I need him to be a sub commander by 63 or get this guy up by 63. Either choice actually really doesn't matter, huh? They both can be well. So far, not bad, but I am thinking there's going to be a gap here. Oh, 76. That's a really cool number. Is there going to be a gap? No, he actually just keeps attacking. That's not bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. But I am going to add some camo here just because I want the glue gunner to help out a little bit more and to give our guy some more range. So now he can see the camo from across the track and not just where Sada's range is. So do I want to go for bigger radius and jungle drums? I think I do because we're good. Now, the only problem I have is that this guy, if it does make it all the way around the track, he's not going to be helpful at the very end. By the time he glues it and it actually stays glued, it's going to go through the end and we're going to call it a day. But it shouldn't make it that far, to be honest. But he's... Oh, actually, he's like 28,000 and he's only 27,000 because I have to buy him and then his upgrade is... Let me check real quick. It's going to be 23 plus 5, so 28. Well, let's just see. Let's just see because I'd rather... I think I'd rather have the glue gunner first, right? Or is he... No, no, no. This one will be better. But not only are we doing fine, but we're keeping everything in front of that like first little path there. But it is just balloons, so we'll see when we get to Moabs. But I'm just kind of like... I am in this internal battle back and forth that I shouldn't be farming. Like I should really just chill out, do a couple farms, if anything, in the mid round. So I don't worry about it and just play the game. I really think I should do that. Now we're not taking out these Moabs the fastest by any means. Like they're kind of slow, 
but it's it's not terrible and I'd rather be safe on 63. And this guy should actually take down all of those uh, leads for us on 63. So we shouldn't have to worry about even getting this guy an MIB right away. Actually though, I think we need to buy this now. This is kind of getting ridiculous. It does leave stuff on the track. So I think we should have got that sooner because now it's going to help us pop faster and even take out those Moabs. And we'll have enough for this by that time anyway. I, I hope so anyway. <laughs> I'm worried about 60, but we will have Sada's 10th level ability, I believe. Yes, we should. I think but see that's what I was going for and now Sada can like do damage over time so but with this trio here we're killing it I love it actually we're not gonna have it by we're not gonna have Sada's ability or him by 60 that's not good actually let's see here though boom okay actually Sada's you're so good you're so good Sada I love you did I tell you that today Sada that I love you because I do and you're the best okay now we got this one we're okay yes 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 let's make him a little faster now 63 technically should be a walk in the park because he'll take out all the leads and then he'll clean up everything else. So we should be okay. Are we doing it? Nope, it didn't work exactly how I planned. Why was that? What's going on here? So he pops all those and then, oh, cause he just not, he's just not good enough. I think a sub commander has been nerfed over the years. Wouldn't you say? Like he's just not as good as it used to be, which kind of has me worried for the end game here because my whole plan was the MIB this guy. But if I have four other subs in this pool with him, and they're all MIB'd and they can pop the DDTs. The problem is you have to pop the DDTs immediately. Otherwise, this guy up at the front is literally no good. So that's where things get a little wild. You guys know, thought it would be kind of cool. What if there was like a chained tower? So you know how he has global range with advanced intel and he can just kind of, he kind of bounces off other towers and chains off of them. And you know how the boomerang top path, like it's Shuruki, what is that thing called a glive that thing can pretty much go around the whole track for the most part But what if like the boomerang had the monkey knowledge, right? And so he used one here and when you threw his little glive It could attach to this live guy over here to this one over here And you have this like endless loop of just things going around in a circle like this when they attack as That would be a really really cool feature. It'd be kind of broken, but it'd be really fun. Imagine on a map like Spillway, you just have like, well, no, you couldn't place that many in there, huh? That wouldn't work. But on a map, uh, what, what would be a cool map? I guess this would be a cool map. It circles around the whole thing. It's pretty big. But I did the glue gunner for you guys, and uh, I'm not a big fan right now. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I love you guys, but uh, he's just not he's not doing the best. But, we'll, I mean, granted, we don't have him yet. But will it change anything? Because will we take out the mobs a little faster? I think we should, honestly. But there is still that delay. Actually, it's those that make it worth it, huh? And now we got this one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We're doing it now, guys. This is it. This is honestly the big times. So what we're going to do now is we're going to waste $10,000. We do not need the radar scanner because we already have one down here. Waste the money. And we do not need the MIB, but for DDTs. So what we're going to do is we're going to waste a ton of money and then put some subs in here. Get them all up to armor piercing darts so they're all super strong and that should be our mainstay attack mode and then as soon as ddt's come out they get destroyed he cleans them up we're good to go now we may even have to like ugh, we may have to buy like a a ninja to slow things down or i was thinking like the bottom path icicle and pill will do it super quick i don't even have it i don't even have it okay Okay, I have it now. Okay, that was a waste of time, but I was a little worried about that. Because Icicle and Pale, if you guys didn't know yet, we are going to be using that tower because if like on 95 or 99 or pretty much any level, the ice bottom path, Icicle and Pale, like destroys everything. Like it just sits it there so you can just take it down. It's really cool. All right, so now we're going to do this. We're going to fit them in here as tight as possible. I think it's Z, right? Or X. There we go. X is a cool letter for the sub. All right, put it right here, put another one here, and then another one here. Can I fit a fifth one? That'd be sweet. Nope, not gonna happen. So we'll grab this one and then this one down to here. But now they don't all have the MIB, unfortunately. So we'll just grab these ones first. Now, one last thing I wanna do is I wanna put one of these guys, Acidic Mixture Dip, with faster throwing on all of them. So I want a total of five. Now, I don't know if that's the best play with my money here, but it might be better to save up for something like a what do I call that guy? Like a shinobi that makes the game slow down. What's that thing even called? Bloon Sabotage. I can't even think I'm having a brain fart here because I'm like losing my mind. We're at the very end here. We're at 221. We got six minutes to beat this thing and we're done. Six minutes. So I have a total of five of these. Let's just get a little greedy and go six and that should be okay. And then should I get a, oh, I can't. I can't. I just spent all of my stuff. I needed like a first strike. So what about a Moab Eliminator? Because this is working out pretty well. I like this a lot. Let's do this then. Let's add this one, because why not? We'll go all the way up to an embrittlement. 
Yes, that's really good. We're, we're actually doing pretty well here. Not complaining at all. And then I think a Moab Eliminator take down that big old bad right away. So we'll put it right here in range. It's like right there. Yes, okay. We've seen 27,000. Okay, this is the round I was worried about, but I think we'll be okay. Like we have an entire team of just wrecking balls with acidic mixture dips. Yes, <laughs> this is actually really cool. We're going faster than I've ever gone before. That is awesome. And I do have to remember how to pause this thing. So it's F FN9 stops my clock because we got to exit and then go straight to the map screens to see where to see our black border in person. And then that says we're done. That's the whole rule here. And we're almost there. I don't see how we could possibly lose right now. Unless I read my spreadsheet wrong and we're not actually where I think we are. We could go like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's taking way too long. Come on, Sada, help us out. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, no, 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 no. Glue gunner, help. Glue gunner. Dude, 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 I know we'll be okay. I just don't like how long it's taking because I want to win. Oh my gosh, actually though, are we going to have a problem? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. 99. Let's do this. Okay, okay, okay. They're good. They're good. They're good. Do this. Sada's ability. Okay, ability. 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 Take it out. Take it out. Ability. Okay, okay, okay. Ability there. Sada. Okay, we did it. We did it. Okay, go, go, go. Go home. Home, home, home. Click the button. FN9. Okay, we did it. In the loop. 22406. Where are we at? 227.46. So we are at the fastest one yet. And that was with checking on some upgrades and wasting time and impoppable. But we did it. That's actually a good three minutes and 40 seconds faster than our first fastest time on middle of the road. We are getting there. And next is going to finally be Scrapyard, which I think should be relatively quickly since we can place at this front part and at the bottom here with a really cool dartling gunner and i think that might be our chimp strat would be pretty cool as a dartling gunner but if you have not yet definitely hit that like button i say it every time but i love how much you guys are loving this series it warms my heart that you guys are watching these like hour and a half long videos because i was a shot in the dark and you guys are liking it i'm loving making them and a lot of you are actually using them as strategies which i wasn't my first intention but i think that's really cool that you're able to use them because a lot of my thought process is just sporadic and all over the place. So the fact that you can put those pieces together, you guys are awesome. Hit the like button if you haven't. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for Scrapyard. And I'll see you guys next time. And if you haven't yet, check out this video. We black border one, two, three as fast as we possibly can. And this map is just super unique and I love it.